Every year, a list of the wealthiest Irish people is published. We take a look at the top five as published by the independent newspaper earlier this year. Number one, the mystery family, 15.6 billion euros. Indian business mogul Palonji Mystery inherited an engineering business from his father. But the bulk of the mystery family wealth comes from their 18.4% stake in Tata Sons, the holding company for India's Tata Group, which owns interests ranging from Jaguar to Land Rovers and Tetley T to Vast Steelworks. In 2016, workers at Gokak Mills, which is owned by the family, went on strike against the dismissal of several trade union members at the factory. They were subsequently locked out by management who refused to meet with the trade union. The mystery family are believed to be a tax resident in India. Number two, the Weston family, 8.1 billion euros. Hilary Weston and family owns a global retail and hospitality empire. Their wider chain of companies include Primark, Loblaws, Brown Thomas and Selfridges. The best performing company in the Western controlled Associated British Foods Group is Penis or Primark, the discount clothing giant that is enjoying rapid international expansion. In 2008 it was revealed that children as young as 11 were working for only 80 cents a day in a sweatshop supplying clothes for Primark. In 2013, 1,135 workers died in a sweatshop in Bangladesh when the factory collapsed. There were no trade unions in the factory and no inspections of the building had taken place. Hilary Weston lives in Canada and has served as the British monarch's representative in Ontario. Number 3. John Graken, 5.8 billion euros. American private equity mogul John Graken has become synonymous with so-called vulture funds that swooped in to buy distressed property assets at knockdown prices in post-crash Ireland. Graken, who renounced his American citizenship in 1999 reportedly for tax purposes and became an Irish citizen, is the founder and sole owner of Dallas-based Lone Star Funds, which has raised 67 billion euros to buy up assets since he set it up in 1995. He has made millions through the current housing crisis by buying and hoarding development land at a discount from Lama. Number four, Dennis O'Brien, 4.74 billion euros. Most Irish people will know of the businessman who made his fortune through the corrupt deal awarding his company Isat Digifone the mobile network license. He has since expanded his vast empire to own a large section of the Irish media, telephone markets in the Caribbean and aircraft leasing. O'Brien is a tax resident in Malta, despite spending a large amount of his time in Ireland. Number 5. The Lyons Family 3.5 billion euros. The family of Piers Lyons, who died earlier this year, are heirs to an animal nutrition and business empire that spans the globe. The company Alltech produces animal feed and other products in the US, Ireland and Canada. In 2015, one of its subsidiaries, Master Feeds Factory, was found to be deficient in several protocols in relation to dust and explosions following a fire at the factory. The high cost of animal feed is also contributing to replacement of small farms by factory farming, particularly in the US. So the billionaires at the top of the Irish rich list have made their money through a mix of corruption, state incentives, land hoarding, slave labour and appalling working conditions. We need to tax their wealth in order to provide decent public services such as housing, health and education.